Hello, what's good, and welcome to CSC Sports. And today I want to ask you guys a question. Who had the best Ali Oop duo? Blake Griffin and Chris Paul or Sean Kemp and Gary Payton? Let's get started. I want to go first with Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. They played for the Seattle Supersonics. If you don't know by now, now you know. They had a phenomenal fast break. But those two guys running up and down the court. It was phenomenal. They used to run and Sean, get back though and jump over whoever and catch it. He didn't need no pick, no screen, nothing. He was going straight to the rim and whoever was in the way was getting dunked on. Sean Kemp was nasty with catching all the oops. And I'm going to tell you something that made Sean Kemp oops look so nasty. He had a lot of pain time. Hayden didn't have to throw a perfect alley-oop for him to catch it and put it in the basket. Now, when I look at Blake Griffin and Chris Paul, the alley-oop style is a little bit different. It's more closer to the basket. It's pretty much like a, a light law to the basket, and Blake go up and yam it and do whatever he's going to do on you. And it's efficient as hell. It's like they, they never really miss the alley-oop. You guys know what I'm saying? It's so, like, basic. Now, when I say basic, I'm saying that it's precise when I say basic. Like, sometimes Chris Paul can be standing there and Blake just, that's the play for Blake to go directly to the rim. Now, out of the two, I look at them differently. I think Sean Kemp's alley hoops were more hang time. He hung in the air a little bit longer and he stretched out a little bit longer. I think Blake's is a little bit more powerful and Blake kind of put more dramatic around it. I think Sean Kemp's as far as his dramatics after he dunk it, that's how he had to perform because he was going up in, in such an awkward way. Sometimes Sean just would, would kick a guy in the head because he didn't care. And that's the difference. I think Chris Paul's Ali Oops to Blake Griffin are more textbook. I think Gary Payton's to Sean Kemp, it was like, look, we finna get nasty. You know what I mean? And out of the two, I, I, me personally, and I hate to say this coming from the old school with it, I like Sean Kemp and Peyton's better. I think Chris Paul throws it more to Blake Griffin. Now, well, I'm going to tell you what I like about the Blake Griffin alley-oops from um, um, Chris Paul. Sometimes they can run that as a play, and it can be something that can really transform the dynamics of their game. Like... Sometimes when the um, Clippers are playing, they can be down by 10 points. Once they throw that alley to Blake Griffin, it activates Blake Griffin because Blake Griffin can't really do anything but dunk. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes it can turn Blake Griffin into a monster out there. Like, I have saw Blake Griffin go like 0 for 6. They kind of clapping down on him. But then when Chris Paul finds that first alley hoop, it's like Lob City, for real. It's That's when it turns into Lob City, for real. Real talk. But with... I kind of like it in, in Seattle a little bit because it was just like first nature to me with Gary Payton and Sean Kemp. They were a phenomenal duo that people really don't talk about that much anymore. Back in the night, late 90s, early 2000s, you talked about them a lot. But far as now, people have forgotten that that was the true lob city over there. Like real talk. If you get a chance, if you don't know much about Sean Kemp and Gary Payton, go online and look at some of the highlights of Sean um, Kemp and Gary Payton. I want you guys to tell me who you think had the best alley oop duo. Um, the duo of um, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin or Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. I'm your boy Jay Howard from CSC Sports. Peace.